Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fathead from Infinite Combo here. Today is the first time in quite a while that I am actually excited about a Gears of War title update. Weird, right? There is one major thing in the update I would like to discuss, but first, let's bang out the somewhat mundane to slightly interesting topics that are also included in this March's update. First, and the most mundane, is the addition of new characters to craft. And by new, I mean they were only available in exclusive packs before, but now are open for opening in regular packs and making with scrap. They are V-Day Marcus, Locust Drone, and Grenadier. That's right, you get to run around as the shirtless Locust dude, bro. These can be opened and crafted, and now, so no weight is required. The second and slightly less mundane update is good news for you completionists out there. 11 new achievements for a total of 500 gamer score will be up for grabs as of March 6th. There are 8 horde achievements and 3 versus achievements, so get to it you slackers! And for the second most interesting news, we have the competitive... 2.6 beta is now live with double XP and a slew of tweaks and changes for a few weapons. The drop shot starting ammunition is now 4, was 3. They say they did this to even it out with the boom shot because the boom shot has much bigger splash damage, therefore needs fewer rounds. I don't know, we'll have to see about that. The Enforcer has been uh, given a bit of an upgrade, a 40 round clip instead of 30, uh, and 125% headshot damage compared to the 105% before. Your Marksa now starts out with 6 rounds, was 5, that extra shot can make all the difference, and headshot gibs and executions have been re-enabled. I'm not a big Marksa user, didn't know they were gone in the first place. Ammo on pickup for your overkill has been dropped from 16 to 12. Your maximum effective range has been increased to 66.6%. Evil. Short range damage increased by 50%. Medium range increased by 100 and long range increased by 100%. The overkill can also now be placed as a secondary or centerline weapon for you ex escalation players out there. Now for the biggest change in an update in quite some time. Pause for dramatic effect. The Hammer Burst is no longer going to be a loadout weapon in core game types! I know this sounds like a bad idea, especially to you hammy players out there in the universe, but let's take a minute or two to pro-con the removal of a loadout weapon that has been there since Gears 2. Now keep in mind the gun will still be a loadout weapon in the social playlist, and in core it will now be a secondary we weapon pickup, like the Bulltalk, Marksa, Retro Lancer, and Overkill. So it's still a thing, and we still have to deal with it. Let's look at the pros here. Pro number one, and I think the biggest thing, you won't have those four to five man oppressive teams that you just can't get through because they're really good with the hammer burst. Team firing is one thing, team firing with the hammer burst seems to just take it to a whole new level of you can't do anything about it. It's frustrating and you can end matches way too quickly with it. Now don't get me wrong, being efficient and ending a match quickly can really, really help you know, sway the match in your favor. The problem with the hammer burst, once again, is it's just so oppressive. You get three guys and it doesn't seem to take much effort. I think you gotta be a little more strategic to end the match quickly. You know, know when to push, what hills to take away, what, uh, what area to take over. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do that'll end the match just as quickly without just hanging back with the hammer burst. And the final upside to taking the hammer burst away as a loadout weapon isn't necessarily about taking it away. It's about changing its position in the game. You're taking it out of the loadout and putting it onto the map where a lot of different people have access to it. It limits how many are on the field and can in fact change up strategies. I mean, this big list I've got in front of me of of maps that are going to have things changed out. Avalanche has only had Bulltalks, now it'll have Hammer Burst. Blood Drive's only had Bulltalks, now it'll also have a Hammer Burst. It'll swap off. All of these, my favorite one on this list is Clock Tower. The smoke grenade spawn up top, which was so goddamn useless. Now, it turns into a Hammer Burst. You're going to have a Sniper and a Hammer Burst up top. You want to win that map, you push the top. Now there's a game-changing strategy. Other maps will include Diner, Dry Dock, Glory, Gridlock, Harbor, Hotel, Impact, Dark, Lift, Mercy, Old Town, Relic. They are really pulling out all the stops. All of those maps that I just listed will now have a hammer burst, swapping off with another secondary weapon pickup. Examples are Overkills, and will now swap with hammer burst every other round on Lift. Um, 
Hotel will have a, another Boltok Hammer Burst swap. Relic will have a Marks of Hammer Burst swap. It'll really change it up. I like the Relic one too. It really keeps that long range feel to it. Now, as promised, like I said before, I'll also be looking at the cons of taking it away. Now, full disclosure, I'm not the biggest Hammerverse fan, so it's going to take me a little bit to find a downside to this. I personally think that limiting it is the best option. I really don't think there's a downside, but I'm sure if I dig and really start to meditate and think on this, oh, hey, there's one. Sometimes the hammer burst is the best solution to a bad situation. Sometimes the best thing you can do is pull out that hammer burst and just go try hard. Sometimes the enemy team is just way too good with those lancers. I don't think it happens often enough, but yes, absolutely. I can totally see that hammer burst being a viable answer to an enemy team that is just obsessed with taking you out at long range. Outrange them. But unfortunately, that I believe is the only downside to removing it as a loadout weapon. I really think that everything else is being done for the better. Now, once again, I'm not the biggest Hammer Burst fan. So if you guys have more experience with it and you want to let me know and let us here at Infinite Combo know what you think, tell us in the comments down below. I really honestly would love to hear what you guys have to think, say about this new change. What you guys think about this new change, I should say. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. This has been Fathead. Hopefully, uh, after the 2.6 beta video I'll be putting up later on, there'll be more interesting stuff happening in Gears. If you really like this, click the like button, share, subscribe, tell your friends. And until next time, guys, stay infinite.